Pawn King software to allow for POS and back office operations for pawn shops and jewelry stores. Begin by creating a customer. Let's create Lucy Anderson. And then we get to the uh, customer information screen. Uh, we can enter in an ID for that customer, date of birth, their name for mailing, etc. phone number information, etc. Uh, driver's license information, along with other um, specific information about the customer. Save that. Now if we want to pawn an item for that customer, we can simply enter in a simple description. We'll just do a bicycle for $200. If I wanted to print out a um, statement for that pawn, uh, I could have done it from the prior screen, but also I can go into their transaction history, hit print pawn, and then come up with the the full pawn agreement with the amount financed, finance charges, percentages, along with all the monthly payments that are possible for the four month period and the amount given to the customer. Likewise, um, the system allows for um, simply doing buys, pawns, and sales. Uh, buys are purchases from a customer sales are um, sales of items within your inventory to that customer inventory can be um, managed through this screen here uh, right now we have the, just the default values for the uh, pawn operation and then a variety of reports and setup information for the colors of the screen that's what we have billmaster broadcast text message feature on the main menu of Billmaster, you'll select the Email More Other button. First, though, let's look at a typical account. Inside of your account, you have phone numbers. Notice that there is a label for the phone number. In this case, I have the word Cell here, but I also have another word here, Cell, for another number. These are the numbers that will be searched for and used for the text messages that you're about to send. In this example, we'll do a select all. We'll go to the choice that says send broadcast text message. Then um, you have a screen here that has the message that you want to display. In this case, we'll just send out a message for firewood. You can also include any type of customer information inside of the text message. Notice on this tab here that says help insertion codes. This shows you how to insert, for example, the customer balance by typing in caret uh, curly bracket balance. That will insert the customer balance into the message. I'll do it here. Your balance is, and then insert the customer balance into the message. And then again, that will do it for each person that it sends it out for. Secondly, you can also send out a, um, a link of a picture, which can be a PDF file that you've created, a message for marketing. And that's done by clicking on this link here to go to this site called IMQUIR. Uh, so we click on the link. It's IMGUR.com. You would sign into this site by using any kind of Gmail address that you have. I've already signed into the site and I have a number of images that are already here. So you upload the images by clicking on computer and then you would browse to the file to upload your image and then when you're ready to 
you can um, you have to get the link to that image to attach to these text messages. In order to do that, you click over here on the right where it says generate image links. Then click on the image that you want to attach. Hit done. And then from this drop down, hit the direct link choice. And then it creates this URL for you here. You can just hit copy. Go back to Billmaster and then hit paste and copy that link. I've already done this before so I'm going to and then I gave it a description uh, where it says add for firewood and when I click on that it turns yellow and before I hit text send text message you also have the choice of confirming each message before you send it I'll uncheck uh, I'll check that box as well but if you uncheck it it'll just send the text messages and now this will search all the people I've selected and then look for the word cell in the phone number lab label and use those phone numbers to send it out for. I can also choose to do an exact match on the search label but in this case I'm just going to press cell. Now I'm going to press send message and it's coming up with the first customer that says um, happy Hank and their cell number. I'm not going to send that message now but if I hit yes it would send it to them. And that's it. It's as simple as um, using the customer names that you have existing, selecting them, you can do a select all, then send a broadcast message. Again, you type in what your message is. If you want to have any additional um, attachments, you can do that as well, or you can leave it blank. You don't have to have an attachment, but it will make your text message more powerful. And again, we recommend that you use your company name right in the beginning of the message so your customers will know because this is going to be sent from a generic uh, phone number to, their, to your customer phones. And you may want to have uh, additional information here about replying to the text message or how to respond. Simply uh, include your phone number or any other contact information as, as well here so your customers will be able to um, respond to your message. Thank you for using Bill.